Hey everybody, here in this video at my usual table where I like to sit when I am at Cedar Point in the fall, a game I like to play sometimes, it's a game I learned in 2012. It's a card game that can be played by one person or even by multiple people. It's called Kings in the Corner. And here I will show you how I play this game, how it was uh, shown to me, and see if I can win. There's a king that goes into one of the four corners. There's a jack. So kings in four corners, and then jacks, queens. I play where the jack or queen can go either way. Okay, so since I got two fours here, that means, at least with the way I was shown, I can take both of these off now because I have a pair of them and just uh, set that to the side and you know if I can get another six and seven that'd be great to uh, clear out some space there's another nine so we'll take that out and see how far we can get with the deck I have right now. Let's see, that's a six, so take that out. Okay. The goal at the end is to get four kings in the corner and then jacks, queens by the very end of it and to not run out of room. So here is a queen. Put that there and Okay, there's another queen. A 10, okay. What else? A two, we'll just put that here for now. A 10, okay. So if you can kind of see uh, how this is going so far, um, what you hope for, especially when you start putting cards on the perimeter of the whole square here, is that you hope that you know the numbered cards you have on the outside are just temporary. And right now, if I were to get another four or another two, then that would be great to get those out of the way and clear out some space for another jack and another king. Okay, perfect. There's a four. Seven, okay. Three, okay. Put that there. King, all right. And another king, so now at this point I have three out of four kings in the deck. What I'm hoping for right now is definitely another two. If I were to get another two, like with the next card that I draw, that would be great, because then I would have that spot clear and I would still be in the game. Okay. This is where you start to feel a little bit on edge when you're playing this game. There's an eight, okay. 
A 10, okay. I need a two, I need a two. Perfect, perfect. Okay. So for a strategy going forward with how far I am, uh, almost halfway through the deck, you know, I would not want to put another numbered card in this spot. I would not want to do that because, you know, I only have one king spot that is still available. You know, if I use up these two spots, then I would be better off using the two available queen spots and two available jack spots. Of course, when you get the inside part all clear, that, that really helps. Well, what do you know? What do you know? All right, what do we have for the rest of the deck? A two, okay. A nine, that helps, that helps. A seven, that helps as well. Queen, all right. Now, this is one of those games where it is kind of easy to lose you know, when you run out of room, but now I'm getting down to the bottom of the deck and I might be in good shape for the rest of this hand. We will see. Well, what do you know? I think that's only three cards left and for once, I am in good shape. There we go. Kings in the corner, queens, jacks, and the last two cards will be an eight and an ace. Okay, so um, that was a good hand here. Uh, the first time that I have played it today on the day that I'm filming this and yeah this is a game that I've been playing for um, 12 years now I learned it in the summer of 2012 when I was uh, working at a church for a whole summer as a youth ministry intern and uh, one of the students uh, showed me this game and it has stuck with me ever since it's a good one player game and well, if you show it to somebody else, uh, you can divide the deck up in half and actually work together as a team. And, you know, you work together and try to get to this point. I know I've done that once or twice, have another player at this table where we've, uh, you know, we've split the deck in half and we've tried to get to this point with all four kings in the corner and queens and jacks on the outside and not run out of room and so yeah that's how I play kings in the corner and you know if I've been able to show you uh, how I play this game if this makes sense then if you have a deck of cards I hope whenever you get some free time that you can enjoy this really cool card game so yeah, that's my video on playing Kings in the Corner, and I hope you enjoyed. Stay well and have fun playing some card games. Thank you.